So for 2020, I've been on a mission to improve my skills and I started doing some mini portraits on 5x5 watercolor paper. Um, if you're interested, you can check that out on my Instagram page at NJPaws. See the portraits that I've done thus far. But I have I've mainly been using models, um, like your typical models to study light and um, human form in the face. And I came across an image of a guy from a tr an African tribe called the Afar peoples, the Afar people. Um, and as a black girl myself, to be honest, I'm not that aware of African tribes um, and their cultures and history, even though loaded topic, but we know where most black people in the Western world come from um, so after seeing it and I was really taken in by his hair because he has this amazing like head of curls I just wanted to share some things that I found uh, on the afar people and yeah just to just to give this speed paint some substance we're going to learn a bit about the Afar people. Okay, so the Afar people, they're an indigenous group inhabiting the Horn of Africa, which is which is this little structure here in the northeast of Africa. And they're primarily found in Ethiopia, Djibouti, and Etra. I guess that's French. Uh, sorry for my pronunciation. They're traditionally a nomadic tribe of herders, rearing mainly goats, and also cows and camels. They follow the religion of Islam, typically the Sunni form of Islam, though the people closer to the interior retain uh, practices from their earlier Hushitic religions. And like they're, they're a subgroup of a larger group of African people called the Hushite. Hushites? Hushitic people? Oh my goodness, I am butchering this. I am so sorry. So what really drew me to paint this guy was his amazing hair. And that's what kind of prompted me to look them up. They're pretty famous for their asadago afro styles and elaborately curled beta or daita, I'm not sure. Do? They use butter as a conditioning agent and a holding agent, I guess, kind of like gel to make their hairstyles stay in place and protect their hair from the sun. Uh, to get the curls, they use butter and a stick where they would wrap the hair around the stick uh, to make the curls and hold it in place with the butter. The women also have really intricate braided styles adorned with beads. They too use the butter. So I just found this guy so amazing. It really, I don't know, it just, it spoke to me in a way. It's nice to see that even though we've lost so much in terms of our original African heritage coming across to the Caribbean, it's nice to see that a lot of things still persisted, like the, not the, the hairstyles that we as black people uh, implement and still use a lot of the braiding and those intricate styles that we do for corn rows and using braids as extensions and stuff it it's uh it's one of the few things that though we tried to stamp it out it remained and it's, it's just a fun little tidbit to think about uh, Sorry if this is a bit of a heavy topic, it's not exactly my intent. I was just really, I don't know if inspired is the word, but it made me happy to look back and see. It catapulted me down a research black hole to go look up other African tribes and see their practices and styles and, you know, just really take in where we came from showing interest in your heritage and stuff even though technically technically these are east africans so 
most of us in the Caribbean and the US wouldn't have, and Europe wouldn't have come from that area. We came from West Africa. But anyhow, um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this little painting. Uh, if you're curious, I left some links below that I found. It's nothing too in depth. If you know of any better links or places that I could do research on African history or people, let me know. Uh, drop it in the comments and I would love to look into it. I'm probably going to do some more portraits like these if I can find any other interesting faces that really strike me to paint. But yeah. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.